Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today we are going to we are going to unbox and do an overview of the Asus A88 XME FM2 Plus motherboard. So let's get started. Okay, so let's just jump right into unboxing this thing. It's a pretty simple open. There's nothing to cut. Just pop it open like that. And look, the motherboard is front and center. And we got all this other stuff with a bunch of other stuff and a bunch of other stuff. And the box is useless now. Let's get that out. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in there. Okay, so it comes with two SATA connectors. Uh, one is right angle. The other is not. There we go. Then you have the input output shield as well as the user guide. Very nice as well as drivers, as well as other stuff. And then it also has a Asus badge to put on your computer. And safety information and a bunch of other stuff, cool. Then we have the motherboard itself. Get that thing out. Micro ATX A88 XME. Yeah, there we go, that's out of there. So I'm gonna be using this with my A107850K uh, processor. Uh, it has two DIMM slots, PCI Express E 3.0, 16X, um, looks like six, four, five, six SATA connectors. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some beauty shots of this thing, we'll do an overview, and then I'll come back to you guys at the end. So let's do it. The A88XM E Micro ATX motherboard supports AMD's A series APU processors with its FM2 Plus socket. The motherboard can support two sticks of DDR3 RAM of up to 2400 MHz and a max capacity of 32 GB. For the expansion slots, you'll find one PCI Express 3.0 16X slot, one PCI Express 2.0 X1 slot, and one PCI slot. For storage support, the motherboard has six SATA 3 6.0 gigabit per second connections with support for RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10. On the rear I.O., you will find separate PS2 ports for the keyboard and mouse, integrated graphics outputs of HDMI, VGA, DVI-D, and that is followed by two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports and a gigabit LAN port, and finally a standard audio setup. On the motherboard itself, you can find additional connections for two more USB 3.0 connections and four more USB 2.0 connections, as well as a single chassis fan connection. So in conclusion, it's a lower end motherboard without support for many bells and whistles, but enough to get the job done in a budget system. I look forward to using it for my Will It Play series where I test integrated graphic systems against popular game titles. And with this motherboard, I'll specifically be testing the AMD A107850K. So if you're interested in checking out that series, you can click the card in the top right-hand corner for my most recent episode. And I want to give a special thanks to Wootware for working with me on acquiring this motherboard. If you haven't heard of Wootware, they're a South African computer components retailer that offers competitive pricing which beats their competitors and can rival U.S. pricing in many instances. You can check out their great selection, Awesome Sales, which you'll see at the top of the page, and be blown away by their top-notch support team by heading on over to wootware.co.za and get ready to woot up your life. So that's it for my unboxing and review of the ASUS A88XME Micro ATX motherboard. Like this video if you found it helpful, dislike it if it was more disappointing than Blink-182 breaking up for the second time. You can also subscribe to stay up to date on all of my upcoming videos, and you can check the link in the video description to use my Amazon affiliate code to purchase the motherboard or other things which gives my channel a small monetary gift back that helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.